Supply side efficiency is basically looking at the potential that is in the conversion technologies and the transformation technologies where primary fuel is converted into electricity, into heat, and so on and so forth. And so there is really where the, the primary fuel reduction potential exists. And if you look at the 400 billion that Europe has spent in the last year, reducing that can be a major boost to the European economy. If you look at Europe and, and its competitive position uh, within you know, a global framework, um, we cannot compete or have a hard time to compete on wages and salary um, or on natural resources. So innovation and having one of the most efficient economies is probably you know, a good, good thing to foc continue to focus on and, and make efficiency part of the jobs and growth agenda. There are member states where um, the supply side efficiency opportunities are almost at par with what you can do on the on the demand side. So what we are saying is not that you should not do the demand side, but if you do not address the opportunities on the supply side, it's a missed opportunity. And I'll give you one example. Um, there are provisions in the, in the directive that's currently debated at European level uh, to promote further cogeneration. That is one very important uh, uh, area. But you can also use the waste heat in many applications to produce additional electricity rather than using the heat as the final product. And that's probably a three, four, five gigawatt opportunity across Europe, uh, depending on how you, how you count and measure.